What's up guys? This is Saurabh with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. The goal of this series is to give the absolute beginners with no experience in game design, programming or even using Unreal Engine 4 the tools to create your own games from scratch. We start from the fundamentals and we work way, our way up to make a simple side-scroller game together and hopefully in a way I'll teach you the tools necessary to create your own games. Welcome to the part 3 of the series. If you have missed part 1 and 2 you can go, uh, go back and watch them where I talked a little bit about game design and um, the basic logic of creating games in Unreal Engine 4 and all, also in the part 2 I talked about the user interface a little bit. In this video we will take a look at the fundamentals of blueprint visual scripting system in Unreal Engine 4. So let's start. So our goal is to create the level exit mechanics for a game. The level is closed. When the player touches a platform the level exit opens letting the player progress through the game. So, how do we achieve this? How do we do this? We do this by blocking the exit with a static mesh. We then define an event which happens when the player touches the platform. And afterwards, when the event is triggered, we execute an action which removes the block. Our plan to do this is to create the exit number two is to create the platform number three or step three is to code the behavior in something called the level blueprint so as I explained in part one the basic structure of con controlling everything in your game comes down to a series of events which happen in your game which leads to the execution of desired actions and this and the combination of actions and events give the actors in our game the desired behaviors to indicate what must happen in any given event we, we can use visual scripting we can also use code but we'll focus on visual scripting we will use a system based on the concept of using nodes just as you can see here to create our desired behaviors in the engine so as you can see we have a node here which triggers an event which is touching the platform in our case then that will lead to lead to execution of an action node which opens the door So this system is called Blueprint Visual Scripting System in Unreal Engine 4. And it looks something like this. So we go to our game. I've already opened it. I showed you how to open it in the previous video, I think. Click on Blueprints up here. And then under Level Blueprints, there's an icon left click on that so now we are in the level blueprint as you can see you have the nodes here and the executions wire wires which connect the nodes or the wires I would say some of the nodes like this one the red one here are event nodes they're triggering events and the other ones, like the blue one here, are action nodes. There are also other types of nodes, but um, we will get into them later. And these white wires are the execution wires, as you can see, being highlighted right now. So the system basically works by connecting different nodes, such as events, functions, and variables with wires. 
to summarize the actors are physical objects in the world like the ones that the block that we showed uh, in uh, in the previous video that we used to the static mess mesh that we used to block the exit and um, the scripting sets the world in motion so there are different types of blueprints that can be used to create the behaviors that we want the most common types you'll be working with are level blueprints and blueprint, blueprint classes um, so I have already shown you how to access the blueprint level blueprint um, to access the blueprint classes available in your game again click on the blueprints up here in the user interface and you'll find blueprint classes available in your game a list of them all here you can open them by clicking on them you can also create new ones by going to the content browser down um, below the viewport and then right clicking and under create basic assets by left clicking on blueprint class you create a new blueprint class so now let's take a look at these types so what is a blueprint class Bru blueprint classes or in short blueprints are ideal for making assets that are going to be used multiple times in the game such as doors collectible items switches and such in order to clarify this idea I'll use an example so imagine creating a chair in the real world I mean a physical chair like the one you're sitting on first you have to have a master design or plan of the chair on the paper and then you can create multiple chairs by applying the blueprint or the design to the physical materials that you have selected to create the chair you can create as many copies of the same chair in the real world as long as you follow the same blueprint and this is the same idea that are used in Unreal Engine 4 with blueprints in a game we can have a number of different blueprint classes and during running the game one or more instances of these blueprints will be present on the screen or more or more general in our game world so as you can see here I have a enemy blueprint and this is the master plan and I can create by just simply dragging it to the world I can create many instances of it they have just the same behavior defined by the master plan or the blueprint because of the self-contained nature of blueprints they can be constructed in such a way that you can just drop them in a level and they will simply work so that is wonderful now what is a level blueprint simply put the level blueprint is used to control the events specific to a level one perfect example is a cutscene or cinematics that are specific to a level you can also get references and manipulate actors within the game world from the level blueprint as well so just one last point sometimes it's difficult to, de to determine if you wanna use blueprint classes or level blueprints and a good rule of thumb is just to ask yourself are there multiple instances in the world or something if the answer is yes then use level blueprints so that's it for this time guys in the next episode we will learn the basics of scripting in level blueprints by creating the exit mechanic mechanic for the game thank you for watching like the video and subscribe for more videos also leave comments if you have any questions or suggestions for me see you in the next video